Have you ever wondered why you can't just walk through a wall? Why matter is solid? The answer lies in one of the most fundamental and powerful rules in the universe, the Pauli Exclusion Principle. Formulated by the brilliant physicist Wolfgang Pauli, the principle is surprisingly simple. It states that two identical fundamental particles called fermions cannot occupy the same quantum state at the same time. Think of it like assigned seating in a cosmic theater. Every electron, proton, and neutron has its own unique ticket. Inside an atom, this means no two electrons can have the exact same set of quantum numbers, which are like their unique address and spin direction. This forces electrons into different energy levels, or shells, creating the atomic structure that underlies all of chemistry and the periodic table. This is the reason matter takes up space and feels solid. It's the universe's way of saying, no trespassing on a subatomic level. And here lies a stunning paradox. Despite this feeling of solidity, an atom is almost entirely empty space. If the nucleus of an atom were the size of a marble placed on the center of a football field, the nearest electrons would be like tiny specks of dust whirling around the outermost seats. The vast expanse in between is empty. So the solidity you feel isn't from matter being tightly packed. It's the powerful no trespassing rule of the Pauli principle, acting across this emptiness that creates the impenetrable force fields we perceive as a solid surface. But this principle does more than just build our world. It operates on a scale that is almost impossibly grand. When a star much more massive than our sun dies, it collapses under its own colossal gravity. The pressure becomes so immense that it overcomes the forces separating atoms, smashing electrons and protons together to create a super dense ball of neutrons. This is a neutron star, an object with the mass of one or two suns, crushed into a sphere the size of a city. So what stops gravity from crushing it all the way down into a black hole? The Pauli Exclusion Principle. The neutrons, being fermions, are now subject to this rule. As gravity tries to squeeze them into the same space and energy state, the principle says no. The neutrons are forced into higher and higher energy levels, creating a tremendous outward pressure. This is called neutron degeneracy pressure and it is the only thing standing against the star's complete gravitational collapse. This quantum pushback is powerful enough to support the entire, unimaginably dense star. The Pauli Exclusion Principle is a true cosmic architect. A less extreme version, called electron degeneracy pressure,